I'm at Mobby Hill in Virginia on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'll just take a fast walk through. There's a lot of people, so I don't know how this is going to work. So let's see what happens. I'll probably be shutting it off once in a while. There's a lot of people here, so I'm sorry, but I'll be putting the camera down, facing down a lot. And this, I guess, is the famous Mobby Mill. Everybody taking photos, everybody's in everybody's way. <laughs> I'm not that worried about that, I just don't want to take pictures of people himself. So I'm just, uh, it's not too big of a place. They have a restaurant, a gift shop, and you see, just walk around. They have a lot of uh, exhibit things and lectures and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna, it's not very big. I'll just show you real fast. Maybe this can be a short video for once. Given it's August 11th, um, August, okay, I thought of it's October 11th, and I'm in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where, you know, a few week trip here, and uh, really, the fall colors ain't all that much yet. Homemade soap recipe. Well, there you go. You want a soap recipe? Pause it, and there you go. But you're going to need that pot. Maybe those are on the recipe, too. There's something over there I want to, and these people are going to beat me there. No, uh, yeah. Let me go around this way. Sorry for making you dizzy. Just trying to avoid the people. Let's see if this got a sign. No. 
Of course, I didn't go the way I wanted to go. Now they're going to go. Let's see what this sign is. I'm going to end it soon. There's two things I'm going to show. Shogum making. I don't know. I think, this, I think the light's going to be in this. That's about it. Over there's a big parking lot. That's RV parking and overflow parking. I'm sure this place gets busy at times. And I'm just stalling a minute. This one thing I want to look at. There's people out here. Oh no, here's more people. Okay, I'm gonna show you. It's a, it's a still, but I probably won't talk when I get there. Oh, most of people heading towards it. I'm going to show you the still first and the sign because somebody's in front of it. That's the trees of all graffiti. If your name's on there, shame on you. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm going to get to that sign. I'm going to go show some scenery first. Plus the sun's going to be there. Sun is never good for me. Thing is now, getting back on the parkway. And at least I think I'm gonna have views today for the first time. And I think today is my ninth day on Blue Ridge Parkway. I did three different campgrounds, multiple nights at a bunch of them. Here's what Appalachian houses look like. There you go, if you want to pause it. And on the way out, there's a blacksmith shop, which I'll try to get. I'm walking up on the back. That's the Blue Ridge Parkway right there. And this is the, coming up, well, it says log cart, but I guess somebody stole it. There's ain't nothing over here. Just a hitching post. <laughs> oh well. And um, this is the back of the mill, which of course I'm just standing at.
Spider webs. <laughs> Don't touch flowers, and don't carve in the trees. I don't know if we can see with the sun coming this way, a whole mountainside of photographers. Okay, we go through there, I think it's the blacksmith shop, and that's gonna be it for this video. 11 minutes, well, it's gonna be about 12 minutes. Well, it's interesting. I think there's the blacksmith shop. And I think we got it. The peek in. <laughs> okay, let's get a little peek. And that's going to be it. Maybe I'll just walk on the beach for the outro. Keep uh, looking for my other videos for this trip. Maybe I'll end it at the mill. Oh, look at this modern, modern day thing in the middle of this old thing here. Look what we got. I wonder if they had to warn people back in the day. That's pretty nice. A little better than when I walked in. I'm going to end it right here.